Sutra, O oh, for Heavenly Kings, to kill us, Earth stubbornly said but says that short lifespans will be the retribution. To rob us, he says that poverty and acute suffering will be the retribution. To those who indulge in improper sex, he says that rebirth as pigeons or as mandarin drakes or ducks will be the retribution. To those who use harsh speech, he says that quarreling families will be the retribution. Commentary The Buddha called out, O oh, four heavenly kings, were he to encounter would be killers. Earth star Bodhisattva says to them that short lifespans will be the retribution. He explains that those who enjoy killing in this life span, in this lifetime will experience many illnesses or short lives in future lives. How come their lives will be short? Having taken lives in the past so that the victims live a short life, consequently the lives of killers will be short. The robbers and thieves Earth Star Bodhisattva says that poverty and acute suffering will be, will be the retribution. What does robbing and stealing mean? Stealing means taking without letting anyone see. Robbing means taking someone else's belongings without their knowing. When Earth Star Bodhisattva encounters people who like to steal and rob things, what does he say to them? He talks about the retribution of poverty and the kill to suffering. He explains that if you steal people's valuables now so that they become poor, then you will also become poor in future lives. See all those poor people who do not have anything to eat or wear because they experience retribution from stealing other people's goods or money in past lives. This is the reason why people are poor now. The more you steal, the poorer you become. The more you are afraid of having nothing, the more likely you will have nothing. Earth Star Bodhisattva tells these people about the retribution of poverty and acute suffering. Poverty is one of the worst miseries. To those who indulge in improper sex, he says that rebirth as pigeons or as mandarin drakes or dogs will be the retribution. If he were to meet people who enjoy sexual misconduct, which refers to wrong and temporary pleasures between non-official couples, not between those officially married couples, although it would be best to reduce sexual activity between officially married couples too, do not think that one can be casual and that the act is not an offense if it is with one's official partner. Sexual activity deludes people. The more sexual activity, the more deluded we are, so that we do not have a light about us. Why is there a light about you? There is a light because, about you because you do not engage in sexual activity, which leads to real wisdom. Engaging in sexual misconduct Improper sexual activity between men and women is a transgression of the precepts. What retribution does he tell these people? He explains the retribution of becoming pigeons or mandarin dogs falls in future lives. Sparrows and pigeons are very licentious. Pigeons will give birth to a nest full of little pigeons. Most falls procreate with males on top of females. Pigeons are different in that females are on top. They are so licentious that they give birth to a nest full of little pigeons. Mandarin tricks or ducks are very emotional. Males and females are together whether they are on land or in the air. They are inseparable. Also, these foals are considered free. It is still bad because they are animals. People who enjoy sexual misconduct will be reborn as sparrows, pigeons, or, and mandarin drakes or ducks or the like. To, to those who use harsh speech or who enjoy scolding others, including divisive speech, feeble blurs speech, and lies, 
He says that quarreling families will be the retribution. He tells them that they will not get along and will always quarrel with their future retinues. Sutra. To those who slander, he says that being tongueless and having cantorous mouths will be the retribution. To the hateful, he says that being ugly and crippled will be the retribution. To the stingy, he says that not getting what they seek will be the retribution. To gluttons, he says that hunger, thirst, and sicknesses of the food will be the retribution. To hunters, he says that a frightening insanity that destroys one's life will be the retribution. To those who oppose their parents, he says that being killed in natural disasters will be the retribution. To arsonists who burn mountains and forests, he says that trying to take their own lives in the confusion of insanity will be the retribution. Commentary to those who slander the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, he, Earth Star Bodhisattva, says that being tongueless and having cankerous mouths will be the retribution. He says, Do you only speak nonsense in this lifetime, slander individuals and the triple jewel, ruining the triple jewel in your future life? Do you will have no tongue and be unable to speak? In your future life, you will always have sores on your mouth. You will face the retribution of the incurable sores. Why are people mute? It is because they slandered the triple jewel. How come that person has a lot of canker sores in his, on his mouth and never quite heal? The reason why miracle doctors cannot heal him is because he slandered the triple jewel in past lives. Hence, he faces the retribution of no tongue and canker sauce on the mouth. So the hateful who have the biggest temper, who get angry easily and replace with the qualities typical of Asuras, he says that being ugly and crippled will be the retribution. When people get angry, they get red in the face, thick in the neck and glare with their eyes, then they do not look too good. If they were that way, they will be very ugly in future lives. Why? Since they enjoy being that way in past lives, they will look especially ugly in this lifetime. You, uh, they may be disabled, such as experiencing inconveniences in urination or crippled. This is a type of illness. If you get upset often, you will be ugly, disabled, and entangled by numerous illnesses in future lives. To the stingy who are not willing to give even a coin, turning and twisting that coin so that it becomes liquid, they are still unwilling to let it out of their hand. Stingy people are miserly and unwilling, unwilling to give, refusing to let go of the money they grab onto. He Earth Stobody said that says that not getting what they seek will be the retribution. They will not have any of their wish come true. To gluttons, who want to eat non-stop, eating repeatedly without restraint, restraint. To people who eat without constraint, they do nothing but think about food all day. They eat, then sleep, sleep, then eat. Earth Star Bodhisattva tells people who do not restrain their food intake. He says that hunger, thirst, and sicknesses of the food will be the retribution. Eat repeatedly now and in future lives. You will never be full. You may not even get a drink of water when you want it. Why? It is because your food will develop some sickness so that it cannot swallow. You may want to eat, but you cannot swallow it, including water. This is the retribution of hunger, thirst, and sickness of the throat. To hunters, he says that a frightening insanity that destroys one's life will be the retribution. Why do hunters hunt? They think it is fun. Here comes a deer, so bang, the shoot it, and the deer lies there dead. They only think, oh, see how my shot is so precise. 
are shot in death with one bullet. They are pleased with themselves for being so indulgent, unruly, unrestrained, and can do whatever they want. What should be said to hunters to indulge in their designs? Explain to them that since you killed in the future, they will experience frightening insanity in some accidental death, such as a car accident, plane crash, train wreck, bus accident, and others. If you kill someone now, you will be killed by a car in a future. In the future, explain this kind of cause and effect to them, and they may think, "Oh, that is very dangerous." They will quit hunting. A star Bodhisattva explains the appropriate drama for pupil. If you remember the retributions for this cause and effect, you will be able to explain the drama for anyone you encounter. You are then a transformation of Earth Star Bodhisattva. Earth Star Bodhisattva is your partner to your firm. So after listening to the Earth Star Sutra, we understand the retribution in cause and effect, and should avoid doing anything wrong. So those who oppose their parents by being unfilial, beating and scolding, he says that being killed in natural disasters will be the retribution. You cannot be unfilial to your parents because the universe will destroy you, such as death by a thunderbolt, by a fallen tree knocked down in a windstorm, or by a collapsing house. These are retributions of death due to natural disasters. People who are not filial face the retribution of being hit by a thunderbolt, windstorm, or rain that washes down your house and crushes you. So arsonists who burn mountains and forests because they enjoy setting wide fires. He says that trying to take their own lives in the confusion of insanity will be the retribution. Do not set fire to burn down any mountain because in future lives you will go insane and die. Explain these different retributions to him. Earth Star Bodhisattva teaches living beings everywhere, explaining the principle of cause and effect. Sutra, so cruel parents or step parents, he says that being flogged in future lives will be the retribution. So those who net and trap young animals. He says that being separated from one's own children will be the retribution. So those who slander the triple jewel, he says that being blind, deaf, deaf, or mute will be the retribution. To those who slight the drama, the drama and regard the teachings with arrogance, he says that remaining in the bad paths forever will be the retribution. So those who destroy or misuse possessions of the eternally dwelling, he says that revolving in the house for hundreds of millions of ants will be the retribution. To those who defy the pure conduct of others and bear false witness against members of the sangha, he says that remaining in the animal realm forever will be the retribution. So those who scold. Burn, behead, maim, or otherwise harm beings. He says that undergoing the very same suffering will be the retribution. Commentary: So cruel parents or step parents, either real dad and step mom, real mom and step dad, step dad and mom, or real dad and mom who have favorites. Dashun, Dashun of China. For example, had his real father and stepmother. There are also real mothers and stepfathers. Someone's father dies, and the mother remarries someone who becomes the stepfather. The stepdad may have favorites, preferring this child and hating that child. Ming Tzu Chen of China, for instance, is one of Confucius' students. His father was an official who remarried. The stepmother abused Ming Tzu-chan. Ming Tzu-chan, in cold places during the winter, she put reed pups in Ming Tzu-chan's padded jacket. For her real sons, she padded their jackets with cotton. 
Reed is uh, fluffy and not warm enough. Only cotton can isolate chills and prevent cold. One day, Official Ming, the father of Ming Tzu Qian, was going somewhere and told Ming Tzu Qian to steer the carriage. It was so cold that he trembled. Official Ming got upset. What is the matter with you? The weather is not even too cold. How can you be freezing the way you are? He picks up a whip and smacks him, which ripped his jacket. He took a look and saw that the padding was made entirely of reed puffs. The father started crying, saying, I have surrounded my son. He is so cold because his stepmother treats him like this. He saw that he will get rid of his wife. When he got home, he was going to divorce his wife, but Ming Tzu Qian knelt down before his father. He said, Please do not get rid of my stepmother. He father, uh, the father asked why. He said, One son alone bears the cold when the mother is around, but two sons have the chills with the mother gone. He says that he is the only one who bears the cold when his stepmother is around, but if his stepmother were to leave and remarry another, then two sons' stepbrothers will both suffer the cold. His father thought it over and did not ask his wife to leave. The stepmother was moved by Ming Tzu Qian's words and thought, My son is so considerate. She treated him impartially without discriminating against him in the future. Why are there people with their parents? Perhaps their father passed away and their mother remarried. Perhaps their real mother dies and their stepfather remarries. Children in this situation usually suffer a great deal. I do not know whether this occurs in America or not. This occurs frequently in China. In general, parents usually do not love children who are not related to them by blood. They may be extremely vicious toward them. This is some of what it means by cruel parents or step parents. He, Earth Star Bodhisattva, says that being flocked in future lives will be the retribution. What kind of cause and effect does he say to these people? He tells them in future lives they will face the retribution of being whipped and beaten. So those who net and trap young animals, such as newborn or baby fish, sparrows, and other creatures. He says that being separated from one's own children will be the retribution. Do so things like this, and in future lives, you will separate from your family. You encounter situations where you cannot be together. You may have to go far away from your hometown so that not everyone can see each other. This is the retribution of being apart from your children. To those who formally slander the tripajura of the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, he says that being blind, deaf or mute will be the retribution. You do not need to ask and yet you can tell that blind, deaf and mute individuals centered the Tripudra in their past lives since limitless ends ago. You will fall into the house if you slander the Tripudra. Once you fall into the house, you will not be able to get out of it until billions and billions of ends later. Once you leave the house and before you become a human being, who knows how many lifetimes you would have to be an animal, how many years you would have to be a horse, a cow, a sheep, a chicken, a dog, or a pig. As a human being, you will be poor, of a low class, blind, deaf, or mute as a result of having slandered the Chippewa. To those who slight the Dharma and regard the teachings with arrogance, those who look down on the Buddha Dharma and are conceited toward Buddhism, he says that Remaining in the bad paths forever will be the retribution. So those who destroy or misuse possessions of the eternally dwelling of the temple, perhaps you ruin a piece of paper 
or a piece of wood for no reason, in general to those who damage the temple's communal goods, he says that revolving in the house for hundreds of millions of ants will be the retribution. To those who defy the pure conduct of others and bear false witness against members of the Sangha, refers to those who ruin others' Brahma conduct, the purity in cultivation, and those who commit libel. This monk did not steal, but they say, I saw him steal. This monk did not kill, but they say, I saw him kill. Or I saw him eat meat, I saw him drink somewhere, I saw him fooling around with women somewhere. They badmouth this monk for no re good reason. To those who slander with false accusations, he says that remaining in the animal realm forever will be the retribution. This kind of people will fall into the house in the future and be an animal forever after they leave the house. Shakyamuni Buddha told the four heavenly kings that to those who scold, burn, behead, maim, or otherwise harm beings, he, a strong Bodhisattva, says that undergoing the very same suffering will be the retribution. Scald people with hot water, and in future lives, he will be scalded with hot water too. Burn people with fire, and people will burn you in the future too. Cut people with a knife and others will cut you with a knife in the future too. These are paybacks where the debts are handed over back and forth. He kills someone, someone kills you. Someone kills you and you kill someone. He explains this kind of retribution that is delivered back and forth. Sutra So those who violate precepts and the regulations of pure eating, he says that being born is birth or beasts that must suffer from hunger and thirst will be the retribution. To those who make unprincipled and destructive use of things, he says that being unable to ever obtain what they seek will be the retribution. To the arrogant and haughty, he says that being so vile uh, and of low station will be the retribution. To those who use the Backbiting to cause discord among others, he says that being tongueless or having speech impediments will be the retribution. To those with deviant views, he says that being born in backward regions will be the retribution. Commentary To those who violate precepts and the regulations of pure eating, people who receive the precepts should not break the precepts. You should observe, they should observe the precepts. What does it mean by breaking the precepts? You transgress on purpose. It is okay if you did not know before and made mistakes. If you know and still make mistakes, then your offenses are even more serious. You take another life, another's life, though so you received the precept against killing. So you break this precept. You still, though you received the precept against stealing, so you break this precept. You engage in sexual conduct, so you receive the precept against committing sexual misconduct, so you break this precept. You lie, so you received the precept against lying, so you break this precept. You take intoxicants. So you received the precept against taking intoxicants, so you break this precept. These are obvious transgressions that everyone knows, but transgressions also occur when people do not know about them. You appear not to make any transgressions when you did. Transgressions can be apparent to most people. Transgressions can also be unbeknown to most people. Nevertheless, their transgressions according to the Buddha drama.